Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today I got a fun one for us. Um, so once again, I'm going to be comparing a couple different brands takes on the exact same project. Today we got the one that kind of started it all though. Battle of the Brands! So today I'm going to be trying Swiss rolls from a couple different brands. So uh, back when I was younger, for context, I used to always buy myself snacks, like literally all the time. Anytime I ever had money, it would 100% just go to snacky snacks, foods, anything sweet, because I had a massive sweet tooth growing up. And um, one of my favorite snacks of all time, still to this day, probably one of my favorite snacks of all time, are little Debbie Swiss rolls. And um, back when I was younger, I was also a very cheap person, right? So for the most part, if I could cheap out on something and I could get the off-brand version of it, I would typically go that route, right? Like if there was a snack that I wanted and I could get it at the Dollar Tree instead of spending two or three dollars on it, I would go get it from the Dollar Tree. But this this brand right here, this this Dollar Tree brand um, that makes these Swiss rolls are terrible. Like they're so bad. They're so god awful. I'm going to be trying them for this video again. So um, you guys should really appreciate me because these are like sworn enemies to me. Swiss rolls by Little Debbie's are so, 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 so good. And I absolutely love them. But those were so bad that I would always have to get the name brand version. This was literally the only thing out there that I had to have name brand version of. Um, so today I got a couple different versions. So we got Little Debbie Swiss Rolls, obviously, which I think is probably going to be the clear winner because nostalgic purposes, if you don't know anything about my channel, nostalgia typically wins out. Um, because honestly, I don't like trying new things. I'm a very like, if something works for me, I'm going to stick with that. It's comforting. I'm going to keep with it, you know? Um... So that's me with Swiss rolls. But we also got the Dollar Tree brand, which is, you know, off-brand, yummy, delicious. Um, and then we also got one that I've never heard of called Yodels by Drake. I'm hoping these are good because these were actually more expensive than regular Swiss rolls. And I was kind of shocked by that. But yeah, so I got these. And then I just found out that Hostess apparently makes something that are very similar to Swiss rolls. Um, Ho-Ho's. I always knew what they were. Well, I've always like heard of them and knew like those are a Hostess thing. Didn't know what they were. They're essentially Swiss rolls. Um, so I feel bad that I'm not going to be trying those in this as well. But since I already have a couple different ones here, I'm thinking it probably will not be the worst thing ever if I skip out on one. So first off, we got Yodels. And I like that these have like the brand name on them. Look at that. The individual packages usually are like so bland and basic. But what I like about this is like if I wanted to afterwards throw... If I want to, after I make this video, throw these all into like the same spot, I will be able to know that these are the Yodel ones easily, which is really nice. Okay, I'm excited about that. I'm going to quickly pick up the thing that I dropped, and we'll get right into trying the Yodels one first. Okay, so right off the bat, these are 270 calories. I'm not, I'm not going to look at the calorie count because I'm probably going to have like 600 calories worth of chocolate sweets right now, which is not great, but you know what? It is what it is. Okay, right off the bat, I'm liking these. These look like darker chocolate. Like, I know it's probably not dark chocolate, but it looks darker than I'm used to. And then they also look slightly smaller, but the coating is very thick. So this should hopefully be pretty good. Okay, I don't think that chocolate is dark chocolate, but it is definitely some rich chocolate. I don't know what it is, but it is it is strong. I'm liking that. And look at how much cream is in that. That is pretty full. That is, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This Drake's brand might be might be giving Swiss rolls a little run for their money. I'm gonna save the second one for later. So like if I need to recompare them, I can. But right off the bat, I'm thinking this is actually really good. This is very solid. Alrighty, and now we got the Dollar Tree brand. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one in the middle. I like to have the ones that I think are gonna be the worst in the middle, so they can be kind of like a palate cleanser. Because what's it called? If you have two really good things back to back. It's going to be hard for you to differentiate which one's better. That's also going to make it harder for you to tell, like, what's good about these specific ones compared to the others. God, that one is completely crushed. This box was in, like, perfect condition, so the fact that that's crushed actually makes me kind of sad. That's okay. So we're going to open this up. These look like just regular Swiss rolls, right? Like, these look like these should be A-OK, -okay, but I already know when I bite into this, it's going to be nothing but disappointment. Okay, so right off the bat, these are absolutely tiny. Um, the chocolate, like, that one looked really dark when you pulled it out. This one's a nice brown color. Um, 
that is coated. I don't remember those being coated, actually. I remember part of the reason why I didn't like these was because I thought that the chocolate wasn't covering it enough, but this looks like it actually should be pretty good, so I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so it isn't it isn't as bad as I remember it being, but as you can see, there's not as much cream, but there's also not as much cake, so like the ratio is not bad. Um, the cake flavor itself isn't as good as I think that one was, and the chocolate definitely is not as rich as that one was, but it's not bad. Like, I, I remember these being absolutely terrible. This is very edible. I would, I would actually kind of recommend this. If you're trying to go on the cheaper side of things, these are kind of worth it. But yeah, um, overall, the cake aspect of this one is lacking a little bit. Like, it is very blah, whereas that one... It was like nice moist chocolate cake like what you would want from like an actual chocolate cake whereas this one it, it's just that it tastes kind of cheap but that's not a problem it's from the dollar tree okay i also was not aware of this apparently when i bought swiss rolls i bought the big pack so these are jumbos i've been wondering why like both of those look really small compared to the uh, swiss rolls i accidentally bought giant swiss rolls so this my my uh thing might be slightly biased now because with them being bigger, there's more of an opportunity for, like, them to get the ratios right and for th certain things to be correct that weren't already correct. I have no idea, but, like, yeah, you check this out. This is a big honky boy. This is gigantic. I love it. Um, once again, both sides coated. This is a nice light brown as opposed to the other one, which was a dark brown. I mean, a dark black. I'm liking it. Let's, let's try this. Okay, I can't quite explain it, but the cream in this is just so good. Like, I don't know what the difference between the cream in this and the cream of the other two is, but this just has more of a distinct flavor. It's very sweet. It's very soft. The texture of it is, like, really, like, it melts in your mouth a little bit, and it's pretty nice. Um, the ratio of cream to cake is very solid, and, um, man, I don't know. I just, I really like these. Okay. Okay, I am slightly torn between the yodels and the uh, Debbie, little Debbie's, uh, what's it called, Swiss rolls. I'm going to try one of the yodel ones again. So here's the problem. This one, I think that the ratio of the cream to everything else is a lot better. Um, I'm talking about the yodel one right now, by the way. Um, I feel like the cream to chocolate to cake ratio is much better on that one. But the problem is the cream itself isn't as good as the OG Swiss roll one. So today, I'm going to have to give the W2 nostalgia again. Classic Swiss rolls are very, very good. Um, they got a lot going for them. I'm, I might be biased because maybe the big ones are different than the regular ones. I might have to redo this video again at some point. But I just think they take the cake. All of them are good, though. I don't want to, like, go ahead and belittle some of the other ones. But this one, in my opinion, is a solid 10 out of 10 Swiss roll. Whereas you got the Yodel one, which, in my opinion, is a solid, like, 9.6. It's still really good, but it slightly could be better. And then, what's it called? This one, I think it's actually a solid 8.9. I thought it was a lot better than I remember it being. And overall, all of them are pretty good. So I would definitely say there's no real difference. Get whatever brand you prefer. But um, trying them side by side really does make a slight difference. Because if you have all three of them individually, they probably all taste great. But having the Swiss roll while having the other two, you can see that there's a little bit of a difference. And the Swiss roll is slightly better. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Bow. Bow, bow.